I would like everyone to please close their eyes. Let me paint a picture for you. You're sitting at home on your personal computer in the summer of 2000 when a friend sends you a link to Napster. What comes to mind? How about musical salvation? That's what came to my mind. Unfortunately, there are lawsuits being filed against college students just like us for $250,000 a piece. And for what? File sharing? Something we learned how to do in kindergarten? File sharing should be legal. And once a sale is made, the RIAA, Recording Industry Association of America, should have no right to interfere with the sharing of that album. The main point I will discuss throughout the remainder of my speech is that CD sales were in decline prior to Napster-related programs. The problem is, there was a loss in CD sales around the time file sharing came about. But the cause was simply economic decline and lack of substance, also known as vocal filler. Now, to a communication studies major, an actual vocal filler would mean verbal pauses or ums, but the recording industry defines vocal filler as the addition of talking on tracks to boost the length of your album. The RAAA tried to point the finger at file sharing. In the April 20th, 2003 article, RIAA Piracy Arguments, figures just don't add up. Quote, the RIAA's assertion of the impact of piracy were shown to be baseless, as was their understanding of the impact of music downloading. They ignored the fact that concert sales were down, CD prices had risen, and the slump in the economy could have been the major cause in the non-spending in her CDs. In a study conducted by Felix Oberholzer of the Harvard Business School and Coleman Strump of the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, quote, we find that file sharing has no statistically significant effect on purchasing. The result is plausible given that movies, software, and video games are actively downloaded, and yet these industries have continued to grow since the advent of file sharing. The solution? Record companies and artists need to reach out to fans through promotional means. This could include bonus footage, pictures, a DVD, anything that turns a potential customer into a purchasing customer. So, in conclusion, file sharing should be legal, and once the sale is made, the RIAA should have no right to interfere with the selling or sharing of that album. CD sales were in decline prior to Napster-related programs.